in this room has some sort of connection to the opioid crisis. Whether it's personal, a family member, friend, or community driven, the common goal is to figure out a way to reduce the number of overdoses in Cincinnati. It just seemed like a wave came through. Um, and it really did a lot of damage to a lot of communities, especially the one that I grew up in. According to Cincy Insights, in 2017, Cincinnati first responders dealt with more than 2,300 overdoses with the highest concentrations downtown and on the west side. So far in 2018, there have been 57 on pace for the same time last year. It's sad to see so many people struggling with it. Um, and it's sad to see so many people lose so many things because of it. Hosted by the Talbert House in conjunction with UC's School of Pharmacy, several students are learning about the dangers of addiction, how it can start with over-prescribing pain pills, and the importance of patient education. We're trying to get a little bit better with how we prescribe and how much we're prescribing so that hopefully in the future we don't have this problem. Ryan Jackson says one of the reasons he came was to get a Narcan kit and learn how to properly use it. It's, I guess, sort of empowering, maybe a little scary, but uh, I think that I'm prepared to help someone that, you know, may potentially be in a life-threatening situation. Every kit tonight came with two four milligram doses of Narcan. In total, Talbert House handed out more than 100 kits and has given out a total of 600 kits since they started these seminars last year. Mike. All right, Emily, thank you.